Hello, and welcome to a brief overview of the AtCore BIM Toolbar version 3. The AtCore BIM Toolbar is a plugin for Autodesk Revit that acts as a family library as well as offering some unique design tools to save you a large amount of time in your MEP projects. To download our toolbar, you can search AtCore BIM Toolbar in the Autodesk App Store to come to a page like this, or you can also go to the atcore.com and navigate to Resources and then BIM Library and Tools. Or you can search at core BIM toolbar on bimobject.com and download the installer from there. Once you have the installer, simply open it up and follow the prompts to ensure it gets installed. No admin credentials required. Once it is installed, open up Revit and you should see an Acquore button on your top ribbon. Now we'll go over the main features of the toolbar. Up first is the Family Browser. To access this, simply click on the AtCore Families button in the top ribbon. When you do this, a panel will appear that can be docked and resized just like the standard Revit panels. The Family panel allows you to browse through all the different families that are offered for your region. To change region, simply click on the Settings button on the ribbon and choose from the dropdown. Additionally, you can toggle which families you want to appear by opening the Library Manager and selecting the checkbox that corresponds to the families you are interested in. To bring a family into your project, all you have to do is click on any family of interest, like so, and then into your project. And it's that easy. Outside of the AtCore families, you can also load in your own families for quick access by going to My Library and then adding the selected files or folders. These families will be stored locally and will not be shared with others. The next button on the AtCore ribbon is the AtCore Templates button. This allows you to browse system templates for a range of products. For example, this is what the Class 1 iBeam ladder tray template looks like when opened. It shows all of the families included in the template, as well as an example of how they are used. These templates can then be transferred into your project to make drawing with AtCore product as easy as drawing with the default Revit system families. To do this, go to the Manage tab, Hit Transfer Project Standards, and then transfer the correct template into your project. After it is transferred in, you're going to go to the Systems tab, and then select the system that you would like to lay out. Once there, make sure you select the AtCore product from the dropdown. Now you can draw like normal. One thing to note is that due to limitations within Revit, system families cannot have their geometry changed, so only the fittings will populate with true-to-life geometry. However, the straight sections still will be branded. I'll swap over to find detail to show you what the fittings look like. And if we select a fitting, we can see that it is the AtCore branded Class 1 I-Beam Cross. Next, we have the Hanger Configurator. Once again, clicking this button will open a panel inside Revit. There are two main methodologies for creating a hanger. The first is just by clicking Create New Hanger, and then configuring the trapeze hanger to best suit your needs. Any of these green dimensions can be clicked on and adjusted, like so. And the plus and minus icons will add or remove tiers or connections. Once finished, go down to the Confirm button, and then you can name it whatever you want. After it's configured, it can then be placed manually. The second method is to pre-select the system you are going to be hanging before clicking Create New Hanger. This will result in the tool automatically reading what kind of system is selected and suggesting a hanger with appropriate hardware based on it. You can still modify any of the parameters of the hanger before placement, but for this video, we'll leave it here and give it a name. When it comes to placement, if you had a system selected, you can choose how you want the hangers to be automatically placed, such as at desired distances along the run. This drastically reduces the time it takes to lay out the whole system, whether it be pipe, conduit, ductwork, or cable trays. And as we can see here, the hangers come in perfectly.
Next up is the auto coupling tool. Let's place a short conduit run to demonstrate this time-saving feature. It will automatically generate and place conduit couplings along segments of entire runs based on the information that you provide. All you need to do is choose the conduit run and select the auto coupling button. From here, you just need to choose a product and we'll go for the rain tight EMT coupling. And then you can configure the placement however you deem necessary. The final feature is the Bill of Materials Export tool. To use it, simply hit the BOM Export button and then select the elements within your project that need to appear on the BOM and hit Finish. You'll then have the option to remove or adjust items if needed. Afterwards, you can either download the BOM and Hanger PDFs, get a quote, or edit your selection. When you download the BOM and Hanger PDFs, you will be prompted to select a location for it to be placed on your device. In this location, it will then create a zip folder containing an Excel sheet bill of materials, as well as a PDF for each unique hanger configuration that was selected. First, let's take a look at the hanger PDF. As you can see, it will have a preview of the hanger, the quantity used within the project, as well as a list of parts that are used to create it. Now next, we'll take a look at the Excel sheet, which when opened, you can see has a table of all of the selected items from within the project, their count, as well as all of their parameters. Now let's get back to Revit to finish up. With the main features covered, I want to highlight the contact button. When you click on this, it will bring up a dialog box that will allow you to send feedback directly to us on the AtCore toolbar team. Alternatively, you can send an email directly to us at atcorebimtoolbar at atcore.com. The other option with the contact button is to get in contact with the sales team. All you need to do is select the country that the project is taking place in, and it will give you the necessary information. With that out of the way, thank you all for watching, and I hope our toolbar helps you streamline your workflow.